Eric said he'd buy me one thing if I went to the grocery store with him. <laughs> well, this is what I'm getting. Eight degrees. Ice cream. Dude, look at this Batman guy right here. What's up, Dutch Napier? Pretty good. That's really good, actually. They even got the cityscape. Impressive.
It's been crazy all day. So I'm just now getting to take some film. Got a ton of players out here. They're out on the course right now. It's been a lot of fun. People have been learning some stuff today. Two life, baby. Two life, boy. We got a fleet. One's done. Two to go. Gotta love the tour life. <laughs> oh hi! You can do it with flippies. <laughs> Flippy floppies. You, I'm trying to cut this box up. What are you doing? <laughs> you little goober. I'm trying to work here, Spout. No one's even playing with you. You know that, right? <laughs> You're cute. Oh, you know, just a disc golf basket next to an intersection. <laughs> we are at Quick Car Oil and Loop in near Dallas. I'm not actually sure which part of Dallas we're in, but our friends Terry and Joel hooked us up with an oil change. Oh, look. <laughs> She's hiding from me. <laughs> Hi, baby. Anyways. Uh, we got the crew here helping us out, and now we're shopping, getting some discs, but the whole crew plays disc golf, so they've got a basket right here. I love it. Alright, I'm going to be real honest here. This RV on the inside is great. On the outside, it is a nightmare. Like, a legitimate nightmare, and I don't know what to do about it anymore. Um, we initially had some separation in the back end here on the bottom, right? So we used this butyl tape, which is supposed to be the stickiest thing ever made, which it is. We did this yesterday and it pulled itself off anyway, so there's still like a two inch gap. And this is all water damaged. And then a couple days ago, Eric backed into the oil tanker thing. And you can kind of see here, there's like this dent, so it pulled out this whole corner. So we tried it on this side too, and also pulled out. So now we've got this gaping hole, but clearly this is an issue before that happened, but it's all the way up. So, um, also since we're digging into it, I might as well just show you everything right here. Also water damaged. I just, she didn't take care of it. I poked around, I looked around, but clearly I just didn't look hard enough and I don't know what to do now. Uh, we're probably gonna take it into an RV place and see what we can do. Um, the back side is literally wrapped with a tarp on one side. So how they thought it wouldn't get damaged, I don't understand. So, RV life. The 
really frustrating part. Here.